Hi everyone, it's Sarah here and I have a whole video, but it's like three different ones um, of stuff that I've picked up over the last week. Um, on, I think Thursday this week, my Stampin' Up! order arrived from Helen Anderson, who's Crafty Helen, and, uh, and she's my little independent Stampin' Up! demo. Um, so I got a bone folder because I've lost my other one and I need one until that turns up so a little bone folder and then I got a quarter inch circle hole punch and it's just one of these little handheld things and I did punch out something a minute ago goodness knows where it's gone just to let you see the size of the hole oh here it is so it's kind of good for the tops of um, tags if you wanted to make your own tags and do your corners and everything and this is just perfect for the size of the hole in the top so nice little rubber handles and a little bit for getting rid of all the the waste so that's my little quarter inch hole punch uh, I got the summer silhouettes stamp set and I got the cling mounted um, so I really love stamping up stamps, they're nice deep etched and I like the fact that they're in these kind of DVD cases um, and they store great because they don't take up much room um, so this one has the dandelion head seed head on it and you've got like a little spray down at the bottom or you could use these little things here and then there's some leaves and some other silhouettes so looking forward to using this and uh, making some nice cards and then I got the hardwood wood grain stamp now I picked the um, the wooden one for this as opposed to the cling mount because I just love these big wooden stamps from Stampin' Up so this is my wood grain one. I've not used it yet. I've not mounted it on my wood. So I'm looking forward to doing that. And that's how it stamps out. Oops, going the wrong way. Quite pretty. And then I also got from Stampin' Up was a couple of stencils. And this is a two pack. It's dots and stripes. So that's the stripes. And that's the dots. And they're good size. I think they're eight by eight. Uh, sorry, they're eight and a half by eight and a half. So I'm looking forward to having a wee play around with this as well. Um, so that's my stamping up order. Um, another thing that I got from Crafty Helen was a couple of archival links. These are the new Wendy Vecchi ones in the designer series, and we've got Buttercup and. Uh, Tiros. So that's the two. So that's my inks. The next thing I'm going to have to do is buy some ink storage units because my inks are taking over my desk and I've got nowhere to store them now. I've run out. Um, right, next thing on the list is Stampers Grove. I was there yesterday doing a workshop on Bind It All Notebooks and uh, I always like to go for a wee shop before I go home. So I picked up the two new Distress inks from Tim Holtz. We've got Fossilised Amber and Twisted Citron. And I always buy the ink pads and then I always buy the Distress markers as well. So Twisted Citron and Fossilised uh, Amber. And these two. There we go. So that's these ones. And while I was also there... Um, I picked up some uh, O-wires for my Bind It All. Now, I don't know about you, but it's not very easy to find Bind It All wires online, or I've found it very difficult to find any um, wires online that are any bigger than, like, you can get quarter inch, half inch, three quarters of an inch at a push. But anything bigger than that, you're struggling to find anything online. So I picked up a box of the black three quarter of an inch. 
So if you're looking to get your big bind it all wires, they have them in stock. So I picked up quite a few. I also got this one's in an, one inch in antique brass. And what else did I get? I got half inch in antique silver. And then the other one that I got was one and a quarter inch in the antique silver. So it's just fabulous to be able to get these big wires. Um, and I'm back through there again next Saturday to take Yvonne's class. Um, and she's having a, a Dilusions Day. So I'm going to pick up some more of these big ones um, so that I've got a wee stock of them um, because I do like making my books. Um, so I think my project today is probably going to be making a book with um, some of the big wires and I'm going to do um, uh, an envelope notebook. So kind of stay tuned to my blog because I tend to put um, anything that I make on over on my blog and detail all the, the, the products below um, and give a supplies list for it. So um, that's me. That's my goodies that I've bought this week. Uh, I hope you liked the video um, and I'll see you all soon with either something else that I've bought next week or a card or whatever I make today. Um, as well as this notebook that I'm planning on making. So I'll see you all soon. Have a great weekend or what's left of your weekend and I shall see you all soon. So bye for now.